Speaking of the Catholic Church, here's a nun judging us for... For selling dildos. We're selling yep. dildos. I, I take back what I said before. You're suspicious. You're definitely suspicious. There's nothing suspicious about it. It's just the way I make a living. Oh, wait. No, oh, I was gonna go... Go and go the full ham with... With... It turns out it's actually... It's actually mochi. There's nothing suspicious about it. It's just a way to make a living. You make a living selling filth. Like cam girling. Filth. You are dis debasing yourself. No, I'm helping others to base themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hardly debasing myself. I'm just filling a gap in the market. Wink wonk. You're impossible. Oh my god. I have a talent for brewing aphrodisiacs. That's all. Everything's made by hand. I wonder where Mookie I like learned Dorf that from. <laughs> 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 uh, Eleni. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> everything's made by hand. I like to refer to it as a hand job well done. I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> The Traveler belonged to a race that were renowned for their innate skills as herbalists. Herbalists. Perhaps it was... Herfulous. <laughs> Lactorous. <laughs> Perhaps it was because of their enhanced senses of sight and smell that they were able to detect which plants were edible and which were not from afar. Oh, you know what? I'm realizing I totally read that sentence wrong. It, it's uh, detect it's which fine. plants were edible and which were not from afar. Just, just add it to the okay. list. <laughs> <laughs> the traveler had been taught the art of potion making from an early age. They had brewed simple concoctions at first, like cold medicine and sleeping draughts and meth. But their reper <laughs> repertoire expanded when it became apparent they were even more talented than most. Okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Are you insinuating that meth is a simple concoction? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, pretty pretty sure, this race. I'm pretty sure the entire town of Black Diamond would like to argue that considering how many explosions there have been from it. <laughs> I mean, I think any town with people making meth would argue that. Um, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, man. Don't make meth, kids. Don't make meth. It's a bad idea. Mm. Not worth yeah. it. That, that's probably going to be the episode's title. Don't make meth, Don't kids. Don't make meth. <laughs> uh, now, with the Traveler nearing their 24th year, they had made they they made a living selling aphrodisiacs to dwarves and goblins because those are the ones who are really hard up <laughs> 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 well they are now <laughs> <laughs> both of those descriptors uh, their mother had thrown a fit when she had discovered she had been dead set and the Traveler inheriting the family apothecary back home. But the Traveler had been firm. He'd been tasting the wares. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that has anything to do with the interaction with their mother. No. There was, as it transpired, far more money in selling aphrodisiacs then there was stomach medicine. And who was surprised? I.E. I.E. Pfizer and the reason why capitalism fails as a healthcare system. 
Mm-hmm. It's all a matter of numbers. I do what I can to survive. As the daughter of a merchant... Well, there we go. No, I think he's referring... Uh, they're referring to, uh... Yeah. Daffodil. Oh, oh, they're referring to... Okay. As the daughter of a merchant, you should know that much. My father might have been a merchant, but he didn't dabble in... In... In filth. Yeah, you know... He might just not know. <laughs> he didn't dabble in filth. I mean, I'm pretty sure most merchants yep. dabble in filth, I at called least it. a little bit. I called it. I'm just gonna go with, I've already said that line. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't stoop that low. My father was a good man. He told me everything he did. Everything. Everything. I said Wait, everything. <laughs> Sorry, much, muchy voice. Everything. <clears throat> everything. Uh, <laughs> Well, <laughs> you're just trying to find everything. that voice. Daffodil's shoulders tensed. She dipped her head. Her lashes, which were like swords, budding <laughs> about on the it, battlefield, not again. <laughs> fluttering well. like the wings of of blade-covered moss. Oh my god. Jesus. Well, <laughs> maybe he did steep that low. Lower, even. Was he a pimp? <laughs> You're a total stranger, of course, and I... I hardly know you, but... I suppose but... you shared an intimate detail with me, so, um, I can tell you a little bit about myself. The Traveler frowned, surprised by this turn of events. A frown which could not be seen because of the hood and all of that. God damn it. They had n not imagined Daffodil would open up to them. Not while they were still wearing that hood. Why then was Daffodil suddenly so meek? Oh my god. Her voice actress wanted Maybe. to be stepped on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this seems to kind of confirm that theory I was talking about. Hmm. Hmm. What theory? Huh, Brad? Just because I want to be whipped yeah. by Francisco von Karma doesn't mean I contribute to this little theory of yours. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna make a montage of those Good. at yep. some point. <laughs> and it's gonna be my favorite video ever. <laughs> it's probably gonna be the one with the most views. Hey. <laughs> I... I would be so excited if that surpassed the B-movie bullshit that I made. Oh, God. <laughs> I think that's that's aiming a bit high. Uh, yeah, considering that's like... I think it's at like 10,000 views Jesus now. Christ. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, this proves people are more into bees than they are more. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we we haven't seen this for proof yet, but <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, maybe she was lonely. Rain effects. Ugh, it no, must have been that lonely. Made me fall asleep during the middle of the recording. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been lonely living alone in the church, all alone with Madeline for company, by herself. The Traveler had not asked because an opportunity had not presented itself. But they had not seen any other sisters, or brothers, or siblings, or, or mothers, or, or parishioners, or lay people. It was possible that they were asleep at this hour, but the pervasive atmosphere. In the church was far too lonely and desolate oh for that. <laughs> oh my god! I suddenly, <laughs> I suddenly remembered my shtick from before. You mean becoming Baylor? That... <laughs> and pronouncing words wrong? 
<laughs> like specifically over pronouncing and like Frenchifying words that don't that are not French. So like mm-hmm. making letters disappear and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. weird accents. Mm-hmm. That tree, that giant tree, uh, it was actually a god tree. <laughs> you mentioned Baylor. I couldn't. Could not you mention help the yourself. tree. Uh, sprouting from the stone floor by the altar was proof enough. <laughs> you know... You know, you don't need to tell me if you... Uh, <clears throat> sorry. That wasn't the narrator. You know, you don't need to tell me if you don't want to. I don't mind. I mean, I don't... I don't know you that well. I'm not sure if I, I do. care. I want to talk. I thought you didn't like me. No, I was pretty convinced of it. No, no, you, you're right. I don't like you. I don't like you. <laughs> I like you even less knowing your line of work, but I... I appreciate that you are honest. How could you tell I was being honest? Did my ears twitch? You're an earnest person, I can tell. Not by your eyes, but by your voice. It would be impressive if you could tell by my eyes, considering you can't see them. Mm, yes, that's, that's discomforting. I don't need to see your face, and I don't want to see your face to know that much. Does that mean you trust me? I... I did not think of it like that, but... Maybe. And... You said Madeline was too innocent. Did I hear my name? <laughs> she is innocent, but at least she has never been tricked by a goblin before. Ooh. Oh, damn. Eh, not to your knowledge. Even if I wasn't going on an important business trip, I still wouldn't entrust my welfare to a goblin of all the foolish things. That's kind of racist. I'm kind of racist. I know racist. some goblins who are rather nice. Do you know some nuns, too? Are we getting back to that whole wall thing? The ones who buy your wares? Yes, well, those are business relationships, not personal ones. And I should hope so, too. Oh! Oh, now you're against interracial marriage, too, huh? Yes. Or at least interracial, uh, getting it on. <laughs> well, I'm against getting it on in general. <laughs> Honestly speaking, though their line of work did not distress the traveler, they did not want to mull at length over what their clientele was actually doing to do, going to do with their wares. It was mostly sex, honestly. But, uh, you know. Wink walk. That was a mental image nobody needed, unless they were fapping. Well, if you don't want me to mean. tell you, I won't. I have no interest in interacting with somebody who isn't interested. No, no, no. That's it. That's not true. I am interested, I swear. I mean, fuck them fart. Not only was the traveler curious by nature, but they were interested in Daffodil. Oh, of course they were. Well, I mean... This isn't necessarily meaning that sort of interested. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure. I mean, I'm interested in Daffodil, but I don't want to bang her. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna get real down to the basics of what I'm saying. <laughs> Over a relatively short period of time, the young nun had endeared herself to them. Um... Uh, 
And the game is wanting to prove the narrator wrong. Yep. <laughs> she was it. an interest. She was an interesting girl, and the traveler wanted to learn more. Well, where should I begin? You should begin in the next episode of Evil Guacamole yes. Gaming. Since it's been about what five minutes? So long, kind of minutes. So, this is Evil Guacamole Gaming. I have been joined by the Layfile and Coco. Huzzah! Ace pun. <laughs> <laughs> Catchphrase. Bye bye. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Farewell. Bye. Can I just go back to my Yu Gi Oh game? <laughs>